Welcome back to the channel. So look, we usually talk about crypto on this channel. It's been a while since I've talked about real estate, but I wanted to do something different today since real estate is what allowed me to get into crypto. So I'm going to touch on a couple things, mainly around mobile homes, trailer parks, trailers, modular homes, anything that you think fits into that category. So there's a major misconception about these that there's a big group of people that have that are literally missing out on a fortune because of this. And on top of that, for those who are newcomers to real estate, this is an area you definitely should be looking into. To me, it's some of the easiest entry there is, but at the same point, they're not really building new parks. So I'm gonna really touch on three different types or ways you can invest in trailers or trailer parks today. And then if you do like this content, because as I mentioned, this really is a major opportunity to build a fortune. If you like that, let me know. And I'll talk more about that and actually give you the specifics. What's important for me on this channel is I really want to spend time letting people know A to B to C, not just building some big idea what you can do and not explaining the in-between that connects the dots. I really want to connect the dot on this. Regardless of what your job is, where you come from, now obviously if you're in another country, not the US, then this may not apply to you, I'm not 100% sure, but don't just spend all your time in one type of investment, that's my opinion, I am not a financial advisor, but this is certainly a way that can help you build your portfolio and do it in a way that I actually think is fairly simple. So for the first way, let's take a common trailer that's on a piece of land, Usually, a lot of times, this is where you can get land that's still on acres or you know some acreage anyway. A lot of times, the trailer needs work. What's good about that is trailers can be fixed fairly easy. Now, they can be destroyed fairly easy as well, but there's literally mobile home parts stores. A lot of it literally just can be put in place very easy. Sections of the floor, um, pieces of the bathroom, the kitchen fairly easy to fix. So even something that looks really bad, like if you were seeing a house, just may not be that bad on a trailer. So that's something to keep in mind. The first property I actually bought was indeed a double wide. So it's on a foundation, but it has been a good property, a very good property. And as I said, it was lower, it was around $20,000 and it's giving back to this day. So keep that in mind. Next, we have a trailer that you can rent out. Let's focus on being able to rent it. Now, you could obviously get a trailer that's on a piece of separate land and rent it, but let's look at a trailer park and then look at the opportunity where said trailer park owner has, we'll say 10 trailers in there. There's a lot of owners that are willing to allow you to come in, fix up a trailer, right? And a lot of times you'll be able to come in, fix it up and rent it out to other people. I know someone who actually does that. He has multiple trailers in different parks he manages them and he rents them out. They don't care because all they want, the owner just wants the lot rent. So let's say you've got $200 lot rent and you got this trailer. Because it's in bad condition, they may literally sell it to you for $2,000. I literally do own a trailer park, so we have sold trailers for dirt cheap. This guy comes in, fixes up that trailer, and then he either does a rent to own to a family or he just rents it out. In another video, I can explain more about that, but think about it. He fixes this up, puts a couple thousand dollars in it. He's now renting out the trailer for 800 a month. He pays the 200 a month. He makes the 600 in between. Now, something to think about when it comes to that, you don't want to do anything illegal or anything against what the owner of the park would do. I'm not in that game. So there is going to be money that comes out of that 600. It may not be 600 in profit because things can't happen throughout the month, but you see where you have that room between the $200 lot rent and the 800 you're bringing in. There's literally people making thousands a month and they don't even actually own the trailer park. Furthermore, you have another opportunity where now you wanna own a trailer park. When you're talking about owning a trailer park, there's several ways to kind of look at it. Um, a lot of owners actually just own the lot and they rent out those spaces, so they may be renting them out for 200, 300, 400, depends on where you're at. Obviously, trailer parks in Florida look different than trailer parks in rural Georgia or even rural Florida, right? Depends on where you're at in Florida. So that's something I wanna point out, but check this out. When it comes down to it, if you just own the lot, you're not responsible for the trailers. Of course, if you own the trailers, you're gonna to have to fix those up. Let's say if you don't own the trailers, you're gonna find out that you end up owning trailers. 
Owners of trailers typically don't take them with them because of the expense to move. So a lot of times you're going to come across trailers that they just leave with you. You can fix those up. You can sell them and just collect the lot rent or you can fix them up and keep them. If you keep them, remember though, you've got to do the maintenance on them. When it comes to trailers, we're not talking about appreciation. That's where there seems to be this big war. Every real estate investor knows the best way to do this, the best way to do that. Here's the deal. There's different ways to do it. I believe as a beginner, personally, I would not be so focused on appreciation. I would be more focused on cash flow. Most people, especially if they're trying to come out of their job, if they can get the cash flow and spend more of their time now focused on building up their real estate empire, then you can focus on appreciation. That is my opinion, right? But there's other people that believe you go straight for it. The problem with the beginner and that is where you're gonna get the money from. Now, if you're in a good position where you have money saved up, more power to it, go for appreciation. But I don't think it has to be a war back and forth. You can literally do both. You're gonna see, and you can look back at the history, trailers have not appreciated the same way as your traditional you know, brick single family, right? So for that reason, there's a lot of people that debate that. To me, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, you can get in in trailers and trailer parks for dirt cheap. And there's different ways to maneuver it, different ways to do it. And if I were you, this is something you really want to look at. Like I said, this is different content than I normally do, but I wanted to provide some other ways of how you can get money to then purchase crypto if crypto is your thing. Or frankly, if you just like real estate investing, let me help you. Now I'm in Georgia be more than happy to explain to you more specifics about Georgia, but in general, from state to state, real estate in general is similar, but when it comes to your market and what's happening in the market, that's when you need someone that focuses on that specific market. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna know more about the step-to-step -step details of actually pulling off those things I talked about today, such as getting a trailer where you don't own the actual trailer park, but you get a trailer and you rent it out, or actually purchasing a trailer park, which I have done, or anything about that, let me know in the comments and I will do some more videos on it. And for those that have been with my channel, if you want more crypto, I'll continue to bring you that. But if this can help you get money to get crypto, then I figured why not? Thanks for watching the content. Make sure to do me a favor, toss me a like, leave a comment, it's great for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and hit the bell for notification. Also, if you want to check out more of my great content, check out these two videos right here. And remember that tomorrow's wealth is built today.